happy Monday! Hope everybody had a fabulous weekend and a fabulous week to be honest. I have been a little bit MIA. I'm going to fill you in on all that in a minute. I'm just going to quickly show you the ladies. The only two I've changed are Vijanier and Jean Viev. Vijanier is wearing a lovely dress with shoes all over it and some very snappy shoes. Jean Viev is wearing a lovely butterfly outfit with also some fabulous shoes. These are from Auntie Shelley. So there they are, and then everybody else is dressed the same, but I'll do a quick go around for y'all. And you can see everybody, and then these lovely ladies, I will tell you their names now. This is Noelle, and this is Cadence. And their mommy wanted to know, did Cadence take a pacifier? And she does, so I wanted to show her. But I prefer it without, so she will not have it right now. So there they are. But it does, she does take a magnetic pacifier. So anyway, a uh, few things to update everybody on. First, I'm going to talk about the my nursery slash studio, and then I can sit down. Um, so yesterday, my husband had to work, so I decided... Rather than paint or crochet or anything, I would try to get a head start on the week because you all know I do certain cleaning things each day, but I thought, let me get ahead. So I cleaned my entire house, did my laundry, although I did do the ironing first thing this morning because I hadn't gotten to that. But one of the things I wanted to do was come into here and organize a bit better because I'll be honest with you all, the way I had the, the clothes set up in the closet for babies that I adopt out, I was finding myself going shopping every time I was finishing a baby because it just wasn't conducive. I couldn't really reach in there well. So yesterday I had this grand idea to turn the tops of the bookcases into closets like I've seen on Pinterest and other places. I'm sure many of you seen, have seen that. So I took down the back two um, organizers that I had put in with the tension rods and so all the boys stuff was out and Emptied the top couple shelves of the bookcase, took out the shelves, only to find out that the tension rods I had, which were actually the smallest ones I had found, were just about like a third or of a quarter of an inch too long. So, as they say, best laid plans. So anyway, I had to step away from the project and reformulate. So I had come up with a couple other ideas through pondering last night, hoping my first idea would work because it was the least cost, you know, had the least cost involved. I was trying to utilize things I already had in my house, um, and it did work. I did have to go buy a couple little drawer organizers, but the tiny ones. So let me quickly show you what I did. I moved all my books from the left bookcase over here to the right side because some of my um, reborning supplies were kind of hard to get to. The only things I left here were my pads, my portfolio, and the gloves. But the rest is now all my children's books. And, um, and then over here, uh, behind the crib on that bottom shelf, which this is very easy, it just lifts right out of place. So back there are all my solutions, my mineral spirits, alcohol, brush cleaner and stuff. And then here are some supplies, nylons, the hair milk, book, uh, my scale, brushes, you know, mohair, glues, needles, all that stuff. And then up here, these are what I had to go buy today, was this one and then two of these. So this has uh, hand mitts. I did find some pacifier clips that I had made. Pacifiers, uh, both boys and girls socks, tights. And then here are hair bows, combs necklaces, bracelets, and then up here are more headbands. This box, I need to change these out. This is full of hats, and there's my rooting pillow. That is full of shoes. So this is those are supplies for babies going home. And then on the closet shelf, I did have all the blankets and swaddlers stacked. So what I did was I just had this basket, so I put them all in there and just stood it up on its side. So that's good. And then in here... Now, this double rod that I have used to be centered, because that's all my baby's clothes. But I did this because when I need anything, it slides very easy. I can just slide it over. And then the two 
girl organizers are still over there. And then those hanging clothes are, you know, going home outfits for babies. And then I laid one down there, and that's all, like, boutique girl stuff. And then the other one is up there. That's boy stuff. I did have quite a purge. I went through and just, you know, had to put what only fit because I've just been buying. And when I buy, I end up getting extra stuff and just kind of been shoving it. So that is not going to happen now. Everything is accessible. Um, the only thing that is for going home babies over here in my um, station is this is all my uh, just plain white onesies. I mean, I do have some fancy ones back there, but these are just the plain ones. So, but everything else over here is still my babies. So that is that. Um, and then I do have, uh, my Charlotte May kit was in that where it says sweaters, but it's really shoes. Uh, Charlotte May was in there in the closet. So she is now gracing us with her presence. Uh, that was the only kit I had in the closet. So Anyway, and everything else is the same. There's Owen. He is coming right along. I'm going to work on him in a few minutes after we chat. And there's Madison and my girls. So anyway, I hope everybody just had a fabulous weekend. We had lovely weather. It's quite cold, though, today. It was like 38 this morning, something like that. High 30s. We are supposed to have cool weather for the next few days. Not much sun, unfortunately. Today it's quite sunny. But I'm exhausted. So anyway, I spent all morning doing this. And then when I finished, except for those little bits and bobs, I ran out and got those organizers. Came home and did that. My husband came for lunch. He just went back to work. So I thought I'd pop on. Um, so a few things. Number one about YouTube, there are some comments I've not been able to reply to. I do type something and it's not letting me uh, leave it. So I do apologize. Um, I'm all finally caught up on my comments, um, replying to comments that were sent to me, as well as messages. I did lose a couple days. I went on Friday to purchase a new laptop, and um, the I brought it home so excited to you know sync them up, and I originally had a MacBook Pro, but the bigger one because when I bought it, I was a full time live in nanny. And I worked 24-6 and then switched to 24-7. So I had purchased that because of the disk drive so I could have movies, you know, downloaded into there. And I no longer needed that, so I went with a little bit of a smaller one, but didn't realize the smaller one didn't have an Ethernet port. So my sync had to happen wire, wire through Wi-Fi, so it took until very late Saturday night. So... Um, I got quite behind, and I do apologize. Um, I don't do any of that stuff on my phone. I've said that before. I don't enjoy typing on my phone, so um, most of it just sat there. Well, all of it actually sat there until I got my computer up and going, so I was able to answer everybody um, except for whatever's come in today, which will happen tomorrow morning. So... Um, I have watched quite a few videos. I watched some on my television, and um, I didn't know how to reply there. I probably wouldn't want to. Typing on there is ridiculous. So I am going to try to go back into my history and leave some comments, but I am way behind, so I may just kind of pick up from wherever it is now and just kind of move forward, as we all have to do occasionally. Um, there have been some nice new babies out there. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything. I've seen several people doing several tags. I just don't know that I'm going to be able to catch up on any of the old tags. Again, I think I'm just going to kind of move forward from here. Um, but, um, I had to laugh this morning, Mandy. I watched your video and not about your camping was funny, but I had to laugh about Lush because, um, I was anxious to find out if you were going to tell us what was in that package because I was reading an article yesterday that apparently they have a massage bar that's not meant to be soap. It has these beans inside of it, and then I'm guessing it's like a beeswax or coconut. I don't know what it is, what holds the beans together. But I guess the instructions are that after you shower or bathe or before bed, just to kind of rub it on you, and like the beans act as like this bumpy massage feeling. And so apparently people have been using it as soap, and so the beans come apart and go down the drains, and now people are sprouting beans in their drains. It was so hysterical. I mean, not really, but, you know, because they're going to have problems with their drainage if they don't rip them out, but... 
I thought, oh, I wonder if she's sending out the massage bar. But anyway, you're not, so I just had to kind of laugh at that. But um, anyway, I'm going to have to make a video because I've already figured out what my first is. But I won't do it in this video. Did I tell you all to get some coffee or tea? Because <sighs> pause and get some. I have lots to fill you all in on. All right, maybe that was enough, maybe not. So anyway, I'll just keep chatting and you can take me along with you or whatever or just, you know, sit there and be thirsty. But don't complain that it took too long and you needed a snack or something and I didn't warn you because I did. So anyway, um, and then I watched Connie's nursery tour. How you remember all those babies' names is so amazing. You should, you know, I used to be a teacher and I mean, I could do it, but... Um, you know, you never knew every kid in school. But anyway, I just, I didn't see, um, who did I miss? There was somebody I thought, where is she? Maybe I missed a video and she's gone. Um, Junior's twin. Is it Jupiter? Juniper. Jupiter. It starts with a J. Darn it, see, Connie, I can't remember your baby's name. Well, anyway, I didn't see her. Maybe I missed her. But anyway, um, but anyway, things I watched today, I will go comment on tomorrow. But I just, I'm like, she's missing. Where is she? Anyway, um, and then there was Fester. <laughs> okay, so I'm just, I think I only watched a couple of videos today. I did bring my um, computer in here to watch while I was tidying, and I thought, you know what, just turn that off and enjoy the process. I really love to organize and clean um, when I was growing up. I'm not sure if I shared this with you all before. Um, after I would do my weekend jobs, which were going to the laundromat and the grocery store, I would come back and rearrange my entire bedroom every week. I don't know why. I'm trying to hear my phone say the number that's calling. But I can't hear it. Anyway, I would take apart my room and reset it up. And I had a canopy bed. And I started doing this when I was like nine. And I would take it apart, move it around. I mean, I don't know why. I just love to organize. So anyway, so I really enjoyed the process of moving everything around and getting it organized. So I didn't really watch just but a couple videos today. So... Happy to see Kimber and Kathy back. I can't remember if I said that in a video or not, but happy that they're back. We missed y'all. And um, hoping everybody's weather's good. Everybody, uh, I hope um, Gloria and everyone's well over there. The weather over there was crazy last week. Um, but anyway, I know there's a lot going on. Been, you know, watching videos and commenting when I can. And I'm going to get back to doing it properly now. So last week I did go see an allergist and uh, he was very nice. I actually sat there. I took my crocheting with me and it was so funny to be in a waiting room with everybody on gadgets and here's me crocheting. I was the only one doing something not gadget related. Nobody read magazines. Everyone was on there. One woman was on a Kindle, but everyone else was either on an iPad or a phone. Anyway, uh, my appointment, I got there 10 minutes before my appointment, but waited for an hour and a half. So... Um, anyway, uh, really nice doctor, my first time seeing him. And so he did give me some prescription medication in the hopes that a stronger dose rather than just the over the counter would help me. Uh, my next step would be to be tested and get allergy shots, which I'm kind of hoping I don't have to do. Um, but what I did find out is that the, um, East Texas has the largest concentration of pollens in the entire United States. I now feel like I'm repeating this. Did I say this on a video already? Lord, ladies, I tell you what. Anyway, if I did, I'm sorry. I will move on. But anyway, so I am hopefully going to... I do feel actually a little bit worse, but it's also it's a good worse because I feel like the medicine is breaking everything up that was kind of like impacted in my head. So while I do feel worse and, you know, draining and everything, I do hope maybe in another week or so I will notice the change. So I have to go back um, at the end of a month and be checked again and then we'll assess everything. So that's that. And then Saturday we did go do that float therapy. Oh, let me tell you what. Very amazing experience. So you get there. And before you float, you get to sit for 15 minutes in a massage chair. And I know y'all are thinking, yeah, yeah, massage chair. This is like a massage chair like I've never seen in my life. You sit in this thing. They have you changed, so you're just in a robe and slippers. 
and you sit, well, I took the slippers off for the massage chair, but you sit in this chair and it has like a separate compartment for each leg and then where you would normally have what looks like armrests underneath it, your arm slides in there and then there's a thing for your head and when they turn on the program, it tips you back. So you're looking up at the ceiling. Well, I had my eyes closed at that point, but you're facing toward the ceiling and then it massages you. Ah, oh, it, it just was so amazing. Um, one thing I wasn't fond of about that massage chair, though, is sometimes it would be massaging two things at once. And when you go for a regular, like, massage by a human being, they're only working on one thing. So you can, like, really relax and enjoy that. So this was kind of like, oh, you're, I don't know, just mentally, for me, it was a, sometimes a little too much. But it felt amazing. And then you go, you have your own like little float suite kind of thing. So you go in, you have to take a shower, and then the shower door, well, it's a curtain on one side and a door on the other. So the curtain is where you step into the shower, and then you open the door on the other side and you step into your tank. And, oh, let me just tell you, it was so lovely. Um, so we floated for an hour, and I will tell you, they really should have these in hotels, because all I wanted to do was go lay down. I didn't want to drive home, because it was like an hour drive. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to go curl up in a hotel and sleep. So, indeed, it was very relaxing. And yesterday, I was a little sore, actually, so I don't know if it was from all the toxins that came out of me or from that massage chair. But um, I'm somebody who certain feelings like that, I call them good pain because they've done something or doing something. So... It was very, very lovely. We really, really enjoyed it. And we said, next time we go, we're going to stay there. We'll go to a hotel and just stay because, really, there's no point in driving after that. So, um, anyway, it was a very lovely experience. If you have any flotation therapy places near you, you should check it out. Um, so that was great. And uh, yesterday was cleaning, organizing this morning as well. So I think I've caught you all up. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I needed to share. Oh, Friday before I went and got my computer, I did go to a kid's consignment sale. I had thought about taking the camera, but again, I'm used to Chicago, and I go to these things early, and you get in these really long, ridiculous lines. Actually, in Chicago, they have a, um, you don't have to pay. I, they, you just basically, I think it's like you say on Facebook that you were going to go to those events, and they draw a name, and that person and one friend, so two people, don't have to get in line and they get to be the first ones in. So if it opens at 9, you don't have to show up till 9 and you get in first. So um, I didn't do that here. Um, so anyway, I got there about maybe 30 minutes before they opened. And I did bring my crocheting in the event that there was not really a line. I was going to stay in my car and crochet because it was kind of cool and rainy and everything. But it was like in a convention center next to a hotel or attached to a hotel. So I couldn't see from the parking lot, you know, the, the where you had to wait. So I did go inside, and I was the first person in line. I was shocked. And by the time I went in, there were maybe only 15 people in line. I'm thinking, wow. And there was so much stuff. And when I was checking out, I didn't even have to wait in line. I did ask her how they're, because I actually, it started on Thursday, but you had to pay to get in. And I opted to wait till Friday. And Sunday was half price day, but I knew that'd be crazy. So I uh, asked her how they did the day before. She said they never had a line. Like at the checkout, nobody ever had to wait. So that's kind of sad. But um, I found their prices to be quite high compared to Chicago. And I was, so I did ask one of the women um, if she knew what the consigner's take was, and she said it's 60 40, the seller, the, you know, the operation gets 60, and the person who was uh, donating, for lack of a better word, but the person who owned the stuff only got 40%. So you could tell that in their pricing that they were trying to get. Um, so I only got a few things. Um, but anyway, it was okay. It wasn't fabulous. So, um, but I did forget my camera. But anyway, and then after that, I went and got my my computer. And so here we are. And there are all the lovely babies. And Owen is about to get some more paint on him. I really want to go take a nap, though. Ugh, I'm tired. 
I'm really tired, ladies. I think it's the up and down of the weather. We were 80 degrees last week, and now we're probably mid-50s right now. Um, so, anyway. This is where I am right now, ladies, in life. I'm in Texas, so I am going to just be thankful that I'm alive and have a place to live, and I have food and a wonderful husband. So anyway, that is what's going on here, and uh, hopefully Owen, my goal was to finish him by this Friday, but we'll see. I don't, may or may not happen. Depends on, now that my house is completely clean, you know, but again, in two days, I'll be like, I gotta clean again. I just have issues. Gail, I'm right there with you with a clean house, but I don't have dogs, so I, I just have issues, Gail. Um, and good job on your silicone painting. I'm just sticking with my Genesis for now. That whole waiting for things to air dry. Oof. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, I do know how I feel about it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> anyway. All right, everybody. I think that's all I really wanted to talk about. And um, once I go through and get organized with comments and stuff, I am going to write down those few new channels I had mentioned because I don't want to say anybody's channel name wrong. Um, so hopefully later this week I'll, I'll shout out a couple new channels. I will show you Owen when he's not on the drying rack, but, you know, has his little blanket body. And um, so, yeah, that's what's going on here. And so we'll have uh, Noelle and Cadence say hi to their mommy. Actually, I should have her wave with that lovely hand. And Aaliyah says hi to her mommy. There you go, everybody. Well, have a blessed rest of your day, and I hope that everybody is just loving life. Make the most of it. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.